going to do a birdhouse cake today, something uh, pretty easy for you. It could be for a springtime event, birthday. Uh, you could even do it for Mother's Day if you wanted to. So what we're going to start with here is a quarter sheet cake. So quarter sheet cakes usually feed about 20 guests. I'm going to be cutting some off, so this cake will probably end up feeding like 15. Um, you can always do this larger. You can do it with a half sheet. You can do it with a three quarter. You can even do it with a full sheet. Um, you just need a bigger pattern. So for a pattern, uh, like I usually do, I go on Google, and uh, Google is my friend, and I hit uh, birdhouse, um, and I put uh, images, hit images, and then put birdhouse in, and I actually got this um, just pretty basic birdhouse pattern like this. I mean, it's a basic shape, so you might not even need a pattern, and they're all a little bit different, so um, you can find something, or even we can just cut it out cut it out by itself, but I thought this might help out a bit. So I just blew it up a bit and got this size. So the roof, we're actually going to do that in um, rice cereal treats. So what I'll do is um, I built the cake already with the filling in it, and the way I built it, I would usually, um, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it actually slopes down a little bit, which, you know, usually I would build it kind of level, but I went ahead and fit the cakes together so it did go down that way a little bit. Because that way when you look at your cake, like I'm looking at the front of it, um, it's a little higher back here and it's just a little present, better presentation sometimes. Now if your cake is just totally flat, what you can do is actually just take a knife and you can cut the cake down a little bit, like start at the top edge here and then cut maybe halfway down here, like inside here. And then you could take that piece of cake and flip it around so that you have a higher spot here and then a lower spot here and then ice it. Um, this one, I think I'll just kind of take a little off because it already has the slope, but it's just not quite even. So I'll just kind of take a little of this off. Okay, it doesn't matter what kind of cake it is. It doesn't have to be really a firm texture cake. Just whatever you usually make is fine. Okay, so then I'll just take this pattern like this and cut this out. And I'll probably actually veer from this pattern a little bit just so I can get more out of this cake. And then um, I'll cut it off here even though we are going to do a roof that's different. Okay, so I want it your way like that. So this is a little wider, my sheet cake. Um, and this can actually go up. We'll use this, um, we'll put the roof on top and cut some of this off. So to get more out of this cake, I probably won't cut it in quite as much here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start with the roof. Okay, so make sure that this part's centered and I'll just take, I'll even take a little bit less of this off. Okay, and a little bit here. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It's about a half inch there, about a half inch here. And then I know I want it to be like a little bit of a point and then go in. So what I can do is just take it from this point here. Actually, let me put it back on just to mark the bottom. So if I want it to go like to here and maybe to here. So that's about an inch in. So I'll go from here and just take off this much to start. Um, I might end with it like that, but I'm not sure. I want to make sure I like the shape. 